Swinging down the I, I came over to film it quick and she's gone. Love seat from hell, 2019. Hey, I'll do it again. All yeah. right. <laughs> I love swinging. I'm a swinger. Are you a swinger? <laughs> That's I'm kind a of a person. from question. way back. Does your husband know that? No. No. Well, he she does. says no. Here's this video. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a swinger from way back. It's early, man. I don't like getting up this early, but we got a, an estate auction up in Tomahawk, Wisconsin. We got to get it going and get up there. I got my sister and my niece with me. They'll help out. And uh, looks like a farm auction, so it should be pretty cool. <laughs> There's a deer in the woods yelling at me. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Glacier Trading Company. I've been a professional buyer for most of my adult life. I'm Craig. Join me from my remote northern location as I buy and sell antiques, collectibles, and vintage from interesting locations and from interesting people and resell those items online. I buy from auctions, estate liquidations, stores, and from folks that just look me up and simply ask if I want to buy their items. Hang out with me for a bit and see what I got this week and meet some of the local wildlife that live in my backyard. Let's get to it. All right, here we are. Let the games commence. Just gonna run through this trailer quick and see if there's anything. Oh, I like that lamp over there. Excuse me, madam. I'm sorry, you're not actually a madam, are you? Not anymore. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. It's pretty crazy looking. Uh, all the flutes are okay? Mostly. I think that one's cracked. Yeah, that's got my name on it. You're right, that bench is super tiny. Really hard to tell online. Cool though. The obligatory buck saw. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can talk him into selling me that for my fire pit. Hey, stranger. Hey, come on now. Did you see yourself on the last one? I did not. You were a star, man. Was I? No, I don't know oh if you were a star gosh. or not. How was uh, fireworks sales this year? Good, good. It was fun. Good actually. or great? Yeah, good.
purple too. That's neat. this little building is. Wow. They started something in here. I wonder if they had like a little curbside little shabby chic shop in here. I really like that stove. That's pretty simple. They don't get out of the way hardly no more either. Oh, I don't know. They get so used to it. We're understanding. Did they open the arena of Kentucky? Yeah, maybe I'll still buy it. the dust. I hate seeing that. You wonder how long this can go on, you know? Yeah, I don't think that's going to be for me. Oh, I like that. Uh, I like this thing. That's pretty cool. thing is this whole wall here has been replaced with wood <laughs> what's going on there and some door cut in it it's mm. pretty buggered up a little title for it horse trailers are relic too Yeah, I'm gonna pass. If you look real close on the tin, see how you can still read the it says milk core on it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And this one might be easier yeah. for you to see, it's a little bit closer. Oh, that is really cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's really amazing, actually. <laughs> the old weather vane on top. Now, if they want to climb up and pull those cupolas down, I'd yeah. probably bid on those. <laughs> I would have taken a picture of this farm. Yeah. It's kind of sad seeing these old farms you just... You know what? Thank you. I say that all the time. Unless you're yeah. going towards Shawano Green Bay. Yeah, I know. Take care of their stuff. Man, I bet you this thing is ancient. That's really early. Say that again. If somebody falls forward and somebody falls back, that's how you have to win. Oh, yeah, Don't yeah. Don't you know that? Yeah. Don't he got that, that on. <laughs> He'll be here all week. Did you, did you put that <laughs> okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, where's the rest of your costume? That's it. That's it. Hold it up. All right, then don't give me five bucks on it. All right, we got back, we're unloaded, and 
I didn't get hardly anything. There was, it, you know, it, it was an old farm. Clearly you can see from the video, but it hadn't been a working farm, couldn't have been in, in some time. There was almost nothing there that was farm related other than a few older pieces of giant farm equipment that looks like they've been sitting out in the field for a really long time. So it's very untypical to go to one of those sales and not just get tons of farm primitives and tools and things like that. So I was kind of disappointed about that, but I got a couple things. I'll turn the camera on and show you. Um, it was a long drive and it was a long day. I only got a few things. Check it out. I, I did manage to get a couple pieces that I really like. And I like this old antique uh, wash stand. It's pretty cool. It got completely drenched. It, if you're a weatherman and you're listening, quit your job. Don't be a weatherman anymore. Clearly, you guys don't know what you're doing. The forecast for the next three days was zero rain on an hourly basis. Sunshine, sunshine, sunshine. Not even clouds. We get in the car to leave this thing. It turned black outside and the drops were the size of golf balls. So this thing just got completely drenched. So I just got done getting it all dried off and I'm gonna go put a box fan in front of it, let it run overnight. And then once it's dry tomorrow morning, I'll oil it. But um, well, you can see the bones, it's in, it's in, it's in good shape overall. Just needs, just needs a little love. And I have some, uh, I have some cool old uh, pitchers and bowls and stuff like that that I can put on here and put in the antique shop. So I was pretty stoked about that. It's a nice little piece. Um, then I got these craft wood boxes. These are cheese boxes from back in the day. And I'm, somebody dug them out of one of the barns, but um, they end up being used for little organizers for nuts and bolts and all kinds of little things like that. But these are really quite good sellers. So, and we used to have, uh, in our town, there used to be a craft factory here many years ago. And a lot of people were employed by craft. So this was uh, stuff that they would have got from work, not necessarily only from things that they bought at the store and then turned it into this. But um, yeah, they're not in great, great shape. But it is what it is. One of the other pieces I got um, that I really like is this antique candle chandelier. It's very petite. You could put this in a lot of different rooms, actually. Um, needs to have the wires straightened out just a little bit. It's, it was in a tote, and it's a little crooked, but it's all there. All the pieces are there. The, the little flutes are in good shape and are cracked or broken. Um, so this is gonna look really cool in the antique shop. I was pretty happy to get this one. So I'm out here at my, I'm out here at my fire pit, which I've yet to have a fire this year. It's been, as everybody in the country knows, it's been desperately dry. So uh, my pile of stuff to be burned has just kind of been heaped up here. I haven't had a fire in here since last fall. Um, we've had some pretty good rain the last couple of days, so if it does it in the next couple of days, I'm gonna have a fire, but Here's the bench that I bought at the auction. I kind of like the way they cut those logs like that to make the legs for it. Now clearly this has had varnish on it and there's some remnants of it on there. And this is this is more than likely the, uh, the water-based stuff that they use for log cabins. I, I, did, I did the part of my uh, old house on the inside to look like a log cabin and that's the stuff I used on it. Every couple of years, you gotta redo it if it's outside. So yeah, I might uh, sand that down a little bit and shoot a coat on there and freshen it up a bit. Okay.
uh, getting ready to close down the old antique shop for the night. Um, washstand's buffed up, looking good. Got this old uh, bowl and pitcher. Let's uh, see if I can show for over here. Old school ironstone china. The china that won the West. Pretty cool. Anyway, guys, I'm closing up the shop. Tomorrow's another day. Thanks for watching. Got another video coming up really on the heels of this one. It won't be too long. We've got three or four pieces in the shop that just need some, they just need some TLC doing that and then going to position them around the shop and get the display set up on them. So that's pretty much what the next video is going to be about. And then we have another, uh, we have another estate liquidation coming up in a week, a week from tomorrow. So hang in there, more to come. Bye.